I want to talk in this video about a pair of operators that are useful for the quantum harmonic oscillator. Uh, so let me define the operators a hat plus and a hat minus, which are called raising and lowering operators, uh, in these ways uh, in relation to the uh, momentum and position operators. So notice the plus and minuses in here. Um, so these are really kind of uh, look kind of ugly, but they have a nice property, which is that if I take h bar omega times a hat minus a hat plus, um, so I multiply those two together, so I've got this prefactor out here, and then I've got the things in the parentheses, which I'm going to multiply out. So I multiply these through. Um, careful when we multiply these through, it matters the order of the p hat and the x hat, because p hat and x hat don't commute. And so we have to be very careful when we're distributing our operators through. Okay, but we can do that, so we'll distribute our operators through, get some h bar omegas that cancel. So I have p hat squared minus m omega p hat x hat over i plus m omega x hat p hat over i plus m squared omega squared x hat squared. Okay, so that's what I get when I distribute that through. Uh, let's try and clean this up. Uh, let's look at this middle term. This middle term is m omega over i times the combination of x hat p hat minus p hat x hat. Hey, wait a second, that's m omega over i times the commutator between x hat and p hat. And we learned previously that the commutator is h bar, oops, excuse me, i times h bar. And so the i's cancel, and so this term in the middle is something nice and simple. And so this combination of a hat minus and a hat plus looks like p hat squared over 2m plus 1 half m omega squared x hat squared plus 1 half h bar omega. Hey, wait a second, those first two terms look really familiar. They look like h hat, the Hamiltonian operator, for a potential, which is the harmonic oscillator, if we chose v of x is 1 half m omega squared x squared. Well, that's kind of curious. Uh, and that is, in fact, the nice property of these raising and lowering operators. So in particular, we say that h bar omega a hat minus a hat plus is equal to h hat plus one half h bar omega. Uh, you could rearrange this so that h hat, the uh, Hamiltonian, is h bar omega a hat minus a hat plus minus one half. Remember, this is only true for the harmonic oscillator. It doesn't work for any other potential. Okay, you can go through a similar process, similar algebra, for the combination h bar omega a hat plus a hat minus, right, just switching their order. I'm not going to go through all the details, you can do the details, um, but what you end up with is h hat, the Hamiltonian, minus one half h bar omega, or rearranging it, that's the Hamiltonian is h bar omega times the combination of a hat plus a hat minus plus one half. So it's just a difference of plus or minus over there. Okay, well, that's kind of nice. Um, Let's also note one more thing about the raising and lowering operators. In particular, we can ask, do they commute? There should be a comma there. So in particular, is a hat minus a hat plus minus a hat plus a hat minus zero, or what do we get? Well, substituting in from above what we have for uh, our combinations of a hat plus and a hat minus in terms of the Hamiltonian, um, I find that the Hamiltonians cancel, uh, and I actually just get a factor of one. So the commutator between a hat minus and a hat plus is just one. Uh, in particular, the raising and lowering operators don't commute. Um, I guess that's not terribly surprising that they don't commute since they're made out of p hat and x hat operators, which themselves don't commute either. Anyway, these are just some useful properties that we'll use to solve the quantum harmonic oscillator uh, in a future video.